Ziggy. Good morning. Today is Tuesday, May 9th. The time is 7.05 a.m. Good morning. Alfred Hitchcock's film Vertigo premiered on this day in 1958. While it landed flat with audiences initially, it was eventually revered as a masterpiece. That's a surprise ending that would have left Hitchcock dizzy with excitement. Good morning everyone, it is Princess underscore Mini4 and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, please make sure to turn on notification bell to know when I post. So in today's video, I am going and I am getting my tonsils removed after two years of tonsil stones and swollen tonsils. So I'm pretty much going to be bringing you guys along with me and I will probably talk to you guys when I get to the hospital right before I go down to surgery because I want my phone to charge. And yeah, I'm supposed to be there at 930 and it is 736. So we are getting ready to leave here soon. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's probably going to be pretty long and pretty weird because I probably won't be able to talk much. But yeah, I'm going to bring you guys along for the ride. Finally, hopefully I can get it done today. I don't know why I always just think something bad is going to happen, but Hopefully, these tonsils are out. No more tonsil stones ever. Wish me luck, you guys. All right, y'all, I'm all undressed. They're about to do an IV. I'll probably talk to you guys probably after my surgery. But I'm so nervous of the recovery, y'all. But they're about to put an IV. y'all so it's like 10 45 it took them like 30 minutes to get an IV. i have three other <laughs> tapes on because they couldn't get it and they ended up getting it in my wrist like my weight loss surgery but i don't know what's happening now i should be going down pretty soon but yeah i'll talk to you guys after my surgery but yeah i'm just bored to sit here and i hope i'm next Bye-bye. Alright you guys, it's 109 and I'm heading home and I'm crying because I don't know what. <laughs> you always cry after anesthesia. So 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 I'll talk to you later. I don't know why I cry all the time. I don't either. I really don't. You are not a cry. Alright you guys, so it's 5.45, I, um, I had a Slurpee, I drank like majority of it, and then I had some ice cream so I can take my first dose of Oxycodone, it hurts to talk, then I had three scoops of um, lemon pudding, then I knocked out and took a nap, and now my grandma went out to go get something else. It just feels like a sore throat, like a really bad sore throat. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the update. Uh, not much is really happening. I'm about to go get me something to drink or something. Uh, I haven't even looked in my mouth because I really don't want to. I'm still very tired. Sorry if the TV's really loud. We have a new TV, by the way. I don't know if y'all saw it or not. But yeah, ain't gonna be much talking on these videos, y'all, because I really can't. But yeah, I'll talk to you guys later.
is hurting pretty bad today and it hurts a lot to swallow. And for some reason I have a ton of thick saliva. I'm still not hungry yet nor thirsty. Right now, nothing is really helping with the pain and I have a hard time drinking anything and I'm afraid I'm going to become dehydrated. I may have me some soap later, cooled down almost cold of course. My grandmom is making me some grits. Emma try to take a nap and I'll update y'all later. Update, the pain is pretty bad when I swallow. For some reason I have a bunch of mucus phlegm in the back of my throat so I'm constantly having to clear my throat. The only thing that remotely helped was iced cold water, but nothing else. No ice cream, no popsicles, only the water. I want to spray the numbing spray on my throat, but I can't open my mouth enough yet. Tomorrow, I will make sure I keep up with my medications on the regular to avoid more pain. The time is 10.25 a.m. Good morning. Today is eat what you want day. But tomorrow is root canal appreciation day. Hmm. Bit of a dilemma. Good morning, everyone. I got up at for this morning to take my Tylenol, then I just took the OXY at 10.30 a.m. I have this weird metallic taste in the back of my throat. My tongue is numb and I can't taste anything currently. Majority of the phlegm is gone and the pain in my throat is a 5 out of 10. Now I'm sitting here eating some applesauce. I was hungry a little while ago, but it never lasts long. I'll update y'all later on. Update. I started feeling weak today, probably due to not eating much or drinking enough water. Tonight I will sleep all night and take a pain pill when I wake up. I'm still pretty exhausted. Right now the pain is at a 510. I've been talking a little bit today, but I always stop when I feel pain. I had a good amount of chicken wonton soup and the rest of my mashed potatoes. I'm trying to stay away from dairy products since it caused me to have phlegm build up. Tomorrow, I'm going to attempt to try to eat some rice because I'm so hungry. But I believe I lost my taste buds because everything tastes like mud. And when I move my tongue it hurts and my tongue is also numb and there is a weird metallic taste in my throat. See y'all tomorrow. Good morning you guys. It is now Friday. I went to bed at midnight and woke up at around 9.30 so I slept all night long. I'm about to take my OXY at 11 a.m. Before I went to bed last night, I had me some rice and it was very yummy. For some reason, I'm very shaky and weak this morning. I'm going to try to wean myself off of some of these pain meds. The pain right now is at like a 5 out of 10. I'm going to make myself a protein pancake for breakfast this morning, hopefully I can eat it. My tongue is still numb and I can't always taste everything I eat and my breath is rancid and I still have that nasty taste in my throat when I swallow. We going out today so I'm going to try to get me a slushy or a slurpee. It's hurting more to talk today so I will try to not talk as much. See y'all around. Good morning. Today is Saturday, May 13th, and it's 11 a.m. I'm getting ready to take two Tylenols and half some applesauce and half of a croissant. The pain currently is like a 3 out of 10. I now have pain in my right ear, and it feels like it's full of liquid. 
I peeked at the back of my throat and it looks disgusting. It's a big crater and it's white. Yuck. Yesterday I drank two water bottles and today I plan on doing the same. I got my IUD a month ago today and I think I'm having my first period with it, so more pain. Yay! Anyways, I'll update you guys later. Have you ever had your mother's permission to take the call? And go anywhere? Update you guys. The pain increased from a 4 to an 8 out of 10 today. I was doing research and they said around the third and fourth days the pain is the worst and days five through ten the scab starts to fall off and the pain starts to subside. Earlier I got a tickle in my throat and coughed a few times and now I'm worried I ruined my healing process because the pain got worse but I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Every time I eat rice I always feel like a piece of rice gets caught in the wounds and the same thing happened when I had macaroni and cheese and I had to stop eating because it started to become painful. I'm getting tired of eating all these sweet foods like pudding, ice cream, slushes, etc. but when I eat other things the pain picks up. I had a bowel movement today after not having one since Monday and I drank two bottles of water today and I plan on trying to drink three tomorrow. I haven't been taking my regular meds due to the pain and swallowing, so if I feel better in the morning. I'll go back to taking my regular meds, but until then, I'm only going to take stool softeners and pain meds for right now. Talk to y'all in the morning. Hi. Today is Sunday, Mother's Day. I just took a dose of Tylenol at 1.30 p.m. The pain has subsided a lot today. But I'm getting bad uterus cramps and I'm bleeding a little heavy. I woke up with a very nasty taste in my mouth and it's at the back of my throat. It tastes kind of like the tonsil stone smell. Which they smell like poop. It's still very painful to talk still so that's why I'm trying not to talk as much. I weirdly still don't have much of an appetite and I'm still exhausted. And the pain is still there when it comes to chewing and swallowing food. A lot of the times I'm hungry but don't want to eat sadly. Good afternoon guys. Today is May 15th and day 6 after my surgery. Overnight I woke up in severe pain in my throat and ears. I just rolled over and went back to sleep though. This was the first night since my surgery, the pain has woken me up. I also had a bad tickle in my throat and I was worried I was going to cough, but luckily I didn't. And I'm also sleeping with a humidifier on to make sure the room stays moist, so I was surprised to get a tickle in my throat. I slept into about 10.30 a.m. this morning. My plan is today to not take any opioids, just take two doses of Tylenol. The pain this morning was an 8 out of 10, and now it's a 3 out of 10. I took my meds at 11.15 a.m. I had my croissant for brunch. I still have rancid breath and that nasty taste in my mouth. I also can't brush my tongue any because it's still in pain and when I stick my tongue out to brush it, it hurts my throat. I'll see you guys around. Update, earlier today I was down in the dumps because I'm getting tired of eating the same things and having everything not taste good because I guess I lost my taste buds. I also hoped the healing time for me would go by faster and I had a chance to go out with a friend this weekend, but I doubt I'll be able to talk by then and I'm also irritated because my summer courses started today. 
Now the pain is picking up again and my right ear is killing me. I just wish I could hurry up and get better so I can go on with my life. Good morning. Today is day 7 after my surgery and it's officially been one week. I woke up at 9.40 a.m. this morning and was feeling very weird. Pain in my throat and ears as normal but had a raging headache. Also felt lightheaded so I took my blood sugar and it was 75. I took a dose of Tylenol at 10 a.m. and the pain is currently at a 5 out of 10. I ended up taking two doses of the opioid yesterday due to the pain. I'm getting ready to have a protein pancake for breakfast. I'll talk to you guys later. Hi, my. on midnight pretty soon and I was able to talk more today because I had to talk to a few doctors and people on the phone. Today was the first day since my surgery that I haven't taken an opioid. I just took two doses of Tylenol. The pain has subsided a good amount today. Weirdly now cold things are making the pain worse so I may have to start staying away from the ice cream, popsicles, ice, etc. But I'll try it again tomorrow. Talk to y'all in the morning. Hey. Ziggy. Good morning. Today is Wednesday, May 17. It's 10.06 a.m. Good morning. Here's a fun Spider-Man fact. Miles Morales, a.k.a. Spider-Man from Earth 1610, has lots of different spider powers, including invisibility and a venom strike where he can electrocute enemies. Zap. Good morning. Today is day eight after my surgery. I feel pretty good this morning. Right now it's just a little discomfort, not much pain. I'm sure once I eat my grits, this will go away though. I'm having more pain from my period cramps and for some reason still bleeding heavy when today is supposed to be my last day. Of course my period is worse than surgery, woohoo. Anyways, I took me a dose of Tylenol and now I'm going to eat my breakfast then work on college work. Later on today, we going to the mall to get a real fruit slush and I'm so excited. Talk to y'all later. Update, today had to be the best day so far since my surgery. Up until dinner time I had zero pain. I felt regular. I just had that nasty taste in my mouth when I swallowed but no pain at all. I also spit up and swallowed some of the scab. It sounds nasty but at least the scab is starting to fall off and I'm glad that everything is healing well. I had chicken and dumplings for dinner today and that caused the pain to pick up. I wonder if it's too salty for me right now. Now the pain is at a 3 out of 10. I was able to eat a center of the roll of a Cinnabon today and a cookie. I just made sure I chewed it extra extra well. I was also able to talk a good amount today with less pain but it's still pretty painful to talk. I just had a brownie cupcake and the pain was unbearable while eating it for some reason. So now the pain is back in my ears, but Emma take a dose of Tylenol at 11 p.m. then go to bed. I'm hoping tomorrow I also have no pain and it gets easier to talk. It's finally looking up y'all. Good night. Good morning. Today is day 9 after my surgery. Today I have a doctor's appointment to check my glucose levels or whatever. Right now the pain is like a 2 out of 10. I'm currently eating Apple Jack cereal. 
I pretty much only chew on my left side cause when I chew on my right side, I have to use my tongue more and using my tongue hurts the wounds, so I avoid that at all costs. I slept without the humidifier last night and slept all throughout the night and when I woke up and turned over, I had little to no pain swallowing. When I brush my teeth and spit, I'm still spitting up a little bit of blood and today I also spit out some scabs. I will talk to you guys later on. Bye bye. Update you guys, it's almost midnight. Today, I started to introduce regular food back into my diet. For lunch today, I had better cheddars, which are kind of like cheese, it's but not as crunchy and provolone cheese. I also ate both sweet potatoes and a baked potato while it was on the warmer side instead of letting it get room temperature. Right now I'm having no pain, which is fantastic. The only pain I really had today was the ear pain. It got pretty bad, but I dealt with it and kept it moving. It's still pretty painful to talk though, but I am trying to talk a little more. I still took a dose of Tylenol at 11.15 just to keep any pain at bay while I sleep tonight. Talk to y'all in the morning. Good night. Ziggy. Good morning. Today is Friday, May 19th. The time is 10.52 a.m. Good morning. Today is May Ray Day, a day to go outside and soak up some sun. Even if it's cloudy where you are, we can still catch some rays together. Just ask me to play Ray Davies or Ray Charles. That'll brighten up any day. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Today is day 10 after my surgery. I had me some frosted flake cereal for breakfast and I took me a dose of Tylenol. Right now I'm having little to no pain right now. Today we are heading to a frozen yogurt place. Yay! Talking is still pretty painful, but I'm trying to do it more. Tongue is still painful to move, so I'm still chewing only on my left mm -hmm. side and not brushing my tongue, unfortunately. Talk to you guys later on today. Up to you later. Yeah, we on our way to get frozen yogurt. Yay, I sound like a weirdo. Yeah, it's so yummy. I got um, chocolate, vanilla, and I made a little bit of cotton candy. And yeah. And I got rainbow sprinkles, marshmallow topping, hot fudge, and a brownie. And for some reason it's starting to hurt to talk, so I guess I won't be talking anymore. So. And yeah. It's almost midnight. Today, I did a lot of talking and I'm currently paying the price for it lol. Just took a dose of Tylenol, the pain is pretty bad. Today when I ate pretty normal for once, I got no pain from that surprisingly. So the pain is just from all the talking I did today. I ate a chicken sandwich and fries and I just made sure I chewed my food thoroughly to ensure nothing scratched my tonsils. I also felt more scabs falling off which is also good. The pain is about a 5 out of 10 though so not so bad. So hopefully overnight the pain subsides and talking gets less painful tomorrow. Good night guys. Good afternoon. Good afternoon everyone. Today is day 11 after my surgery. I'm having no pain at all right now. I'm about to eat me some lunch. 
a chicken wing and a piece of bread once it's cooled down. Talking is also better today. Today was clean up day so I cleaned up the bathroom and my side of the living room then I took a shower. We may be running some errands today so I'll be doing a lot of talking again, hopefully it's not as painful. I took a dose of Tylenol this morning. I'll chat with y'all later on tonight. See you later. Update you guys. Today had to be the best day since my surgery. Talking was only a little painful. I ate pretty regular today and it made me very happy. The only thing I'm dealing with is the feeling of post nasal drip in my throat. I always feel like something is back there. Also my tongue is very white and I'm able to scrap film off of it. So tomorrow morning I'm going to use my tongue scraper and try to clean my tongue off. I still took a dose of Tylenol to keep the pain at bay for overnight of course. Tomorrow, I'm going to go back to taking my all my regular pills, and I'm going to try to go back to my regular morning routine and drink more water. I want to get my life back on track, especially since my summer courses have started. Talk to you guys in the morning. Good afternoon, everyone. Today is day 12 after my surgery. I woke up this morning and removed the second pillow from the bed because it was uncomfortable. So I slept all night with one pillow. I took a dose of Tylenol this morning. I'm having little to no pain and talking is getting back to normal. I washed my face with my face wash this morning and I took my regular morning meds. I'll update you guys tonight. update you guys it's almost 11 p.m i won't be updating too much longer due to things getting better which is a good thing i had pretty much no pain today and even when talking i barely had any pain i'm feeling much better and even when eating and drinking very little pain i took all my regular meds today and i'll probably take my last dose of tylenol tonight and if i feel good in the morning then i won't be taking any more pain meds Maybe tomorrow I can update with my actual voice. I also ate completely regular today and I will continue to do that from now on. I had no pain and nothing felt weird. And tomorrow I'm going to go back with drinking 64 ounces of water with my actual water bottle. Hopefully it's not painful. Good night you guys. I'll update you in the morning. Night. Good morning everyone. Today is day 13 after my surgery. Um, I haven't taken a pain pill yet today. It doesn't hurt too much to talk, hurts a little bit. I'm up doing homework. My college courses started on the 15th. Today is the 22nd, so it's been a week. So I'm doing my summer courses. That's what I'm gonna be doing pretty much until June. And then I have one class that goes all the way up until July 24th. So, yeah. You see I still talk a little weird. It does hurt a little bit, but it's not too bad. Um, I plan on not taking any pain meds today. But, yeah. Um, I slept pretty good overnight. Didn't have any pain or anything. Swelling is whatever. One thing that's kind of funny and kind of nasty. When I use my tongue scraper... All the scabs from my tonsils be coming out. It's disgusting, but it's kind of funny at the same time. But yeah, so brushing my teeth doesn't... Brushing my teeth never bothered me. Because I've seen some people, like, they couldn't really brush their teeth. It never bothered me. Um, obviously, brushing my tongue is still kind of eh. Because my tongue still feels weird. And it hurts to stick my tongue out. Still, still does hurt for that, so. But I'm sticking it out farther enough so I can use the tongue scraper. And yeah that's pretty much the update it doesn't really taste nasty when i swallow anymore and i got up this morning and had some yogurt didn't really bother me so we're on a good foot tomorrow makes a week and then on wednesday 
which is like day 15 after my surgery i have my post-op appointment and then that's probably when i'm going to end this video here but yeah i'll update you guys either tonight or tomorrow morning okay you guys so it's 10 30. i'm gonna take any pain pills today um i had a lot of ear pain and like right here pain all day i didn't take any pain pills and i've been talking pretty good um so that's pretty much the update and i will see you guys tomorrow for the next update bye guys good night all right you guys so today is day 14 after my surgery or pretty much just two weeks after my surgery um today we done went to the laundromat well we're at the laundromat she just went into the store but um yeah, it's, a it's not as painful to talk today, but it's still a little painful. Um, I di obviously didn't take any payments yesterday or any so far today. I don't plan on taking any more pretty much ever. Um, when I get home today, I think I'm going to show you guys what I recommend for the surgery and stuff that you may need, blah, blah, blah. I obviously can't do that now. Um, and I was looking in the back of my throat and it looks like, it looks weird. It's like there's craters back there and it looks like there's pus in there. It's probably not, but either way, tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. I have an appointment for my post-op. So if there's an infection or whatever, he can just give me antibiotics. But honestly, like I don't have a fever. I have been hot lately, but I'm also having, you know, I have an IUD in and my period literally came on like the 13th and then go off into the 22nd. So... <laughs> yeah but that's finally going off but yeah i'm still a little painful to talk and but it is getting better and um there's no ear pain so far today but i did have so much ear pain yesterday um and i wrote it down but i did drink 64 ounces out of my water bottle yesterday and i'm gonna do the same today and probably pretty much every day after that so everything is pretty much back to normal and then this is my update for today i'll probably update you guys either tonight or just tomorrow morning because i am going to do another thing showing you guys all the stuff that i use for my surgery all right you guys so i want to use this time to pretty much tell you guys what i recommend for a tonsillectomy um it's like stuff i use and stuff i didn't use blah 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 so starting off, I'm gonna start with stuff that I didn't use. So I bought these Tylenol dissolvable stuff, that, like um, pain pills that you can dissolve into like liquid and food. I ended up not using them because they prescribed me Tylenol. So I ended up just not using them. I just dealt like with the pain and just swallowed the pill. At first I was swallowing it with the pudding, y'all seen that. And then eventually I was just able to swallow it with the water. But yeah, I ended up just not using them. So now they're just sitting in my thing. <laughs> I'll use them, I guess, eventually. But it's kind of like, they're probably just going to go to waste. Because it's like, I can take pills regularly now. So I ended up did not use that. Then this stuff right here, I bought off of Amazon. So let me see. I'm just going to show you. Chloroseptic sore throat. It numbs it. So for like the first week pretty much yeah for the first week probably and a half i was not able to open my mouth wide enough like my grandma was always like why you have food over your face but it's like i couldn't open my mouth like, like this so if i put food in it's like so it went all over my mouth i couldn't open my mouth wide enough to spray this like they want you people who've had the tonsillectomy because everybody's recovery is different they want you to open your mouth and spray in the back and then spit it which i like here's what it says spray the affected area and then where does it say that i gotta find y'all it says and then allow it to remain in place for 15 seconds and spit out i tried it did not like it because at first i couldn't open my mouth wide enough and then i just didn't like the way it tastes i just didn't like it so i didn't use it does not mean it could work for you if you open your mouth wide enough i think it's kind of weird they don't want you to swallow it but they want you to spray your tonsils kind of weird but and it's also one person on facebook said that they would like spray it swish it around and it would kind of help but my doctors told me not to gargle so i can't go i still can't gargle now they say for like two weeks but then i'm gonna wait till tomorrow and see what they say but yeah that's two things i did not use so we have this stuff right here i am in a facebook group and i told them that i was having my tonsils removed this girl recommended this so she said this worked better than the pain pills it's like it's like a cough drop but it's sore throat pain relief whatever so i was getting ready to open these and use them but here's what this thing says warnings 
I can't even say it, methomoglobinemia warning. Using this product may cause that word, a serious condition that must be treated promptly because it reduces the amount of oxygen carried in the blood. This can occur even if you have used this project before. Stop and use and seek immediate medical attention if you and your child develops and it says blue skin, headache, rapid heart rate, shortness of breath, I'm good. There's too much bad things with this. You're telling me I use this thing, I'm gonna get like not have oxygen in my blood? I didn't even use it, you see? Just a waste of money. I'm not, my life is too precious for that. Now I think that's the three things I did use, didn't use, but now with the stuff I did use, I did use a um, ice pack a few times that is very helpful. Um, I didn't use it as often as I would and I got a really extra long one. It's like that big and it's purple. I got it off of Amazon. If I remember, I'll try to link that below. Um, and you can even strap it on. So if you like your arms, you can like strap it so it stays overnight and stuff. So it was, it's really handy. I use it a few times, but it's like, I don't know. I usually use it at nighttime and I went to sleep. So it was like, I mean, I guess it helped. It really didn't hurt me, hurt me. So yeah. Um, another thing I did use was, I'm trying to think. <laughs> um, well, yeah, obviously I, Try to include all the foods I ate, like the progression, because like I said, I had a hard time figuring out what I can eat. Because for the first few days, I was so hungry, but you're in so much pain. And sometimes you're hungry, I will go to eat something, and, my, and then I remember, girl, it hurts to swallow, so I just wouldn't swallow. But um, that's pretty much all that I used. Like, I really didn't use much, and I bought a good amount of stuff. But I bought that, my grandma bought this. I bought the Tylenol and I bought the ice pack. I really say the ice pack is your best bet. Obviously, like they say, take your pain pills around the clock for the first three days. And they say pain pills, they say the opioids or the narcotics and take your Tylenol for around the clock. Take it around the clock for the first three days. So that's every eight hours on the Tylenol and two hours afterwards take the um the opioid because you're going to be in pain when you're an adult obviously kids don't really have pain from it and here's what i here's what else i didn't use i got popsicles didn't eat them they just like i lost my taste buds like i lost my taste buds kind of like i did after my weight loss surgery everything tasted like mud so everything i ate during the first three days tasted horrible like i said ice cream tasted like mud the pudding tasted like mud the the popsicles, everything just tasted disgusting. I lost my taste buds. And even still now, my tongue still feels weird. And talking now is getting better. I still get the ear pain, but I'm not taking pain meds. It is what it is, but I still get the ear pain. And oh my God, y'all, I have so much earwax in my ears. <laughs> like, it's, I don't know if that's from this or not, but I have an extra amount. I put my headphones in, came out. It was a whole glob of earwax. I don't know if that's what happens from the surgery. I don't know. But yeah. This is pretty much all I'm going to say today. Another thing I'm dealing with, though, I'm dealing with when I eat food, it gets trapped in the craters back there. So they tell you not to gargle. So I'm going to ask him tomorrow, what can I do about the food getting trapped? Because I ate manwich, which is like ground beef in the sauce, like sloppy joe. And it's like I still taste it because it's back there. But it's like they tell you not to gargle. They tell you not to blow your nose. They tell you not to cough. All of this. So. Hopefully by tomorrow everything could be normal and I can go back to drinking a straw, drinking out of a straw because I want iced coffee. And if you're an iced coffee drinker, you need iced coffee out of a straw, period. I'm not going to drink it without a straw. But anyway, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Sorry this is long. Again, this is a long video, but. All right, you guys. So today is day 15, um, which means that today's date is the 24th of May. So I went to my doctor's appointment this morning at 9 a.m. Um, I went in there. He asked how everything was. I said, it's been good. He literally put that like tongue depressor in there, looked all around with the thing, told me to say, oh, he said, all right, everything's looking good. You're good to go. You can go back on your regular diet. You can eat and drink whatever you want. You can drink out of a straw. Um, you can go back to gargling, using mouthwash, all of that. Pretty much I can go back to my life before. Like I can, first thing I got y'all, first thing I got was something that I can drink out of a straw. But yeah, pretty much he said, he said the only thing he did say was like, is everything is healing normal. And he said that pretty much scabs are gonna continue to fall off and they're just gonna continue to heal. I don't have any more appointments with him. 
um and i can pretty much go back as needed if i need to which hopefully as much as i love him and he is so good looking <laughs> but if I, I if i don't need to go back i don't need to go back i kind of don't want to have to go back but yeah so pretty much that is the end of this video this is my entire tonsillectomy process of before i got them done after throughout up until the two weeks healing point so sorry it's a long video but i wanted to be informational for people that want to get their tonsils done because i was looking for videos like this before i had them done and i think i did a great job so yeah the only thing i have like i said is still the pain but it's not like i'm not taking a pain pill from it i'm not going to stop talking so yeah Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn notification bell, know when I post and share this video with your friends. And I will see you guys in the next video, which will be in June. Bye guys. Love you.